Hi, welcome to my build of King Combatter 40 inch wingspan flying wing. I've prepared all the bits that I need to now to build the basic wing structure. I've got the, the, the actual ribs themselves, I've got a couple of false ribs here that go at the front, I've got a couple of pieces of tail end and um, tail end of the ribs that just go in the back here and some fillets just as, uh, as strengtheners. And I've got my spars ready and for some bizarre reason I'm still building two. So uh, this, this is uh, going to be one of two that I'm gluing at the moment. Um, to try and get this lovely and straight and so it'll all glue up easy I've been, I haven't got a, a, um, uh, a wing board to, to, to set it all out so I've been setting this up and checking and working out how exactly I'm going to do it and you can see here if I just talk you through what I've done I've got a, a piece of 10mm balsa at the back which is supported you can just see uh, hopefully under there there's a piece of 12mm balsa and I've just set that at the right angle with this here hopefully you can see that that picks up okay there's the trailing edge, a uh, bit of sheeting. So I've set that at the right angle so that it supports the back of the ribs with the two spars directly in line and at a tangent to the board. And the way I've done that to set that up is I get my, I've got a piece of the six mil balsa which I've actually pinned down onto the, onto the board. I've held the rib between my metal blocks and then I've put just another piece of 6mm balsa in there which is going to be the spar. And with this piece pinned down, just move on to this, with this piece pinned down, just get that out, I can then check that they are perfectly uh, vertical square by using my set square. Now if I just push this up to the bottom spar, if I line this up, that's lined up now, if I push that to the bottom spar you can see it doesn't alter the position of that top one. If it was slightly forward it would just kick it over a little bit and if it wasn't far enough it would, so there, if it's just a little bit high as it comes in it would just kick that. So I've just done that to get that just right. So it's those, um, those bars are directly over each other. Now, these are the correct positions for these two ribs. And it's important to make sure that they're the right way up. Uh, don't think you can see the arrows on these. The arrows are on this side. But I put arrows on all the ribs just to make sure that we get everything uh, pointing upwards. So these two ribs are in the correct position. This is just a central location that I've chose. And I've pinned all this and weighted this now so that this now is not going to move and I can actually build on top of it. So the next thing I'm going to do, well, what I would normally do is I would sheet the plans in plastic. I don't really want the hassle of trying to put the plastic up over this, this lift at the back here. So what I've done is I've just cut myself short pieces uh, like this one here and I've just slid it underneath and I'm going to do that and I think that is, is far easier trying to do that than trying to cover the whole thing in, in, in sheet plastic. I think, I think I just need these little bits where I'm going to glue and I'm gonna, I think I'm going to glue with CA I really like using white glue PVA but I think with something like this I want to be able to hold these make sure it's down in the right location and tack it with CA tack it with CA and just get everything right and of course eyeing everything up from the end so what I'm going to do now is I've got this in the right place that's pinned down on top of the plans I'm going to take these ribs up I'm going to pin in my lower spar, I'm going to put all the ribs on, I'm going to put in the top spar and then I'm going to check everything with the, 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 the ribs 
resting on the back here and I'm going to check everything is square and then I'll see it. These blocks have been so, so useful for helping me set this up because they're heavy enough and, squ and they're square that I can just hold that rib and it will go wherever I put it as I'm setting up this board, just sliding it backwards and forwards. So I'm going to get the whole wing now set up and we'll come back and have a quick look at that before I start gluing it. Well this is all laid out lovely now and it's it, it, it re really looking nice. I've got all the, the, the full ribs in place and I've got this trailing edge sheet, bit of sheeting under the tip, on the underside of the tip of the, the ribs. And it's all ready to glue now. I've, I've been looking, I've looked, eyed it up from the end and I've used my, my steel ruler and it is perfectly straight. It looks, it looks lovely. This lift here seems to work really well and I think having these spars vertical it, it, it was a good way to go. I don't think it's essential but uh, you know you could do it differently but I think it just seems to work really nice. I, I love this stage of a build where you, you're setting everything up and, and, and seeing how it looks. What I'm going to do now is start to glue and I'll probably glue from this end. I'll use my square blocks and I'll put them either side of the, the rib. I'll check the ribs in line on the plan and this tip, trailing tip is down and I will see it. I will then move my blocks to the next rib and they will hold that completely vertical or absolutely vertical and I'll make sure it's above there and I'll do the same. And I'll work my way along using my blocks to help. When I get to here, I will just use the one block just to make sure. So that's yeah, just like that, and I'll put another one here, just to make sure they're, they're vertical. I mean, I've got a set square, I could use a set square, but these blocks are quite nice. Once that's set, I will then put in the trailing edge. I'll probably just C8 in the center, and then run it along. Uh, I've, I've eyed up the bird mats, and they all line up beautifully, so, so that's good. I've got a few other things to go into this. I've got these kind of trailing, I don't know what you call them, they're, they're the final part of the, the ribs that just go here and come up to a kind of to, to help form a bay. I'll probably put those in later as well as these little fillets and a few th other things but I'm going to get on and get that CA now and get that sorted. Well I've been getting on quite a lot now and I've got all the spars, the leading edge, the sheeting on the trailing edge top and bottom all glued in all the ribs are glued in place and that's starting to to really take shape now the thing i'm working on right now is the engine mount here and creating a little bit of a, a bay here and putting in these false ribs if we look at the engine mount first we've got these false ribs on the side there's one either side here if i just peel that off and take this one off here and then the the engine mount itself is two pieces of, of hardwood it's stepped at the end here and a piece of balsa with a bird mouth that just locks into the the front spar so that tooth there just fits over that spar that sits into the bird mouth and then that just slots in there and i'm going to epoxy that into place in a minute and that should be nice and strong if, if there's epoxy holding it. And then I've got the false ribs, which once that's set, I will probably just PVA onto the sides here to give that a little bit more strength, but also it gives a surface there for the sheeting to go onto when I finally come round to sheeting the front um, the, the leading edge top and bottom but that, that's a little bit down the road yet so that is probably one of my next jobs is to glue that and then I've got this softwood spruce 6mm spar that goes along here not only giving strength for the engine mount but it's also giving something to screw down into because there's going to be a hatch cover here and there's also a corresponding spar on this back edge. None of this is glued in at the back yet. So 
the spa, the, the hatch cover will just go like that. There's a couple of support pieces I need to make on the side just for that to fit onto because the sheeting will come up and cover that spar and then the hatch will just have something to rest onto in the centre there. But I'm going to make those once I've got this glued into place. So we've got this 6mm spar here that's going to go in. Now we've got a cross member here, on the plans it's shown just as, as very shallow. I've made it full length so it contacts what will be the sheeting underneath and the sheeting on top. I think it only was made small in the previous or in the plans because there's a, a mixer, mechanical mixer arrangement here that needed access under there for the linkages. So I've made that full depth, I've cut a hole in here and what I'm planning to do is to mount the servos on the top surface with the control arm sticking out like that and I'll run the wires through here into this bay here. So there'll be two, two servos. These are Tower Pro servos, these are MG90D. I, I, I really like these, these servos. They're metal geared, they, they seem to work really well and they're only 13 grams. The three uh, servos that are shown on the plan, engine, elevator and ailerons, are probably 55 gram about for Tarba type servos. So by using three of these, one for the throttle as well, I'm going to probably be saving getting on for 100 grams or something like that. So that's going to be really good. So I can afford to add a little bit of balsa here. And the receiver, I suspect the receiver I've got uh, is a, a lot, lot lighter than the receivers they were making in 1970s. So I've got this just pressed into place at the moment. An interesting thing about these, these false ribs or the back end of the ribs here, I noticed that if I was pushing them in too hard, I was lifting up the, the, the sheeting on the trailing edge. So I put this steel ruler on and I just pushed them into the right amount using my set square to make sure that they were square and I've just pinned them. What I will do is I will CA these tips in place first with the square to make sure I get them in the right place and then I'll put this cross member on and get all this glued in. So I will get on and do that now and oh the one other thing I've done is the front of the wings as I've said are going to be sheeted all the way across and this central section is sheeted top and bottom and these are open bays. So what I've done is I've just put some 2mm shear webbing here on these first, first bays just to add a little bit of strength where the wings leave this kind of stronger central section. Probably not necessary but I just think the wings, they're not the strongest wings I've ever made and I think 2mm shear webbing if you think about the, the, the weight we're saving from the radio and the, and, and the servos, a little bit of weight on the shear webbing isn't going to make any difference. And when we do shear webbing, it's important to do the, the grain running downwards and not crosswards like that. It just gives it more strength. So I'm going to get on now and glue all this in place and we'll come back and have a look and see what's, uh, what's next. Well, I've now got the wing off the building board and it's great to see it take shape. It's ever so light. Uh, I was quite surprised when I picked it up, but then there's nothing to it really. The engine mount's epoxied in now and I actually put the false ribs on the sides at the same time I, and I used epoxy. I think it was, just, it was just a lot easier that way. And uh, I, I had to make sure it was square and uh, that was quite easy and that was quite nice. I've also done the, the side pieces here for the, the cover to sit on and all this is, is glued in place. So I'm going to have my sheeting that will come up to, to the edge like that and then I'll just have, just use this piece that's better, I'll have my sheeting like that that will just cover this piece here and then that will be the cover will just go on there so it'll have a, something to grip onto. So yeah, these, these aren't sheeted, it's just this narrow section here. So I've also put in the, the fillets, I think the camera's picking that up okay, just in between the ribs, done all those, CA'd them in place. 
And I've also put in some wedges where the hinge locations are. I've marked out the three locations on each side. I've made just simple balsa wedges and I've just been dropping those into place using a stick just to make sure they're in the right place and then putting some CA just to, to glue that in. It's, I, it, I think it will make a big difference having those wedges because the hinges I'm using, just plastic mylar hinges, just pieces of plastic. If you've just got the cheating on the, on the trailing edge like that, there's nothing for the hinges to, to grab a hold of and, and to be glued to. So that wedge will give a lot more purchase. So, I think now we've got the basic structure of the wing finished, we're going to call this video to a close and uh, next video we'll start looking at fitting out some of the controls and doing some of the sheeting. So, thanks very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed it.